The Rocket Spear is ridiculously strong, and today I'm going to show you by pairing it with the Fireball, Giant Arrow, and Spiky Ball, you can 3-star a Max Town or 16 without even entering the base. We're going to 3-star this Max Town Hall 16 box base in the most improbable way possible. You see the army here. Now, these super minions, I kind of just put them in because they're ranged units, really good at taking down buildings from outside the base, but we're not really going to use any of those at all. Instead, this is going to be focusing on the hero equipment. So we've got a Warden Charge with the Fireball. Now, it's worth noting, all the hero equipment in this video will be maxed. Just because I need it maxed to 3-star, essentially without entering the base and with only using my heroes and a few healers. Uh, but obviously, that's not achievable for most of you. Maybe uh, well into the future, but don't worry. We're going to have plenty of videos on the channel in the coming days with much more normal level equipment. I just wanted to show you the max potential of this strategy. Because on the king, we've got the spiky ball. The gauntlet kind of gets swagged in this, honestly. Would have been better off running another one, but we got the spiky ball. Queen, we've got the healer puppet and then the giant arrow, which will be used in conjunction with the fireball. And RC, we've got the seeking shield and the... Uh, Rocket Spear. So the Warden's getting into position here, and you're going to see it's all going to happen very quickly. So the Fireball goes for the Town Hall. One Quake to take down the area. Then we have the Giant Arrow on the other side, uh, and that takes down a lot of the base. We get the healers that spawn as well, and now we're putting in all our spells. We get rid of the Eagle Poison Towers. Now we're going after the Multi Inferno and Expo, and that Expo will go down eventually. I've still got three Earthquakes and one Lightning here. Now, technically, at this point, my Warden has entered the base. All I'm going to say is this. The only thing that... The only defense my Warden takes down, I believe, is this... Uh, I believe is the uh, Builder Hut you see there. So we've got the Queen on the left side. Now I've got the King on the top side. He's doing his thing, and you're going to see how we use him in a second. King, do your thing. There's all the Quakes. That Expo goes down. Last Quake 2. We pop the King ability, and I mean, look at that value. That is ridiculous. Now we have the Royal Champion on the right side. Look at that. The Flame Flinger and the uh, Warden take down this Expo. And yeah, I think maybe this Expo is the only thing. Hopefully the RC Shield takes it down. Nope, unfortunately it doesn't. So I'm so sorry. My Warden entered the base and got rid of one or two of the defenses out of like 40 that are on a Town Hall 16 base. Quite ridiculous. And honestly... This didn't take as many attempts as you think it would. Uh, the reason the RC is crossing the base is a Tesla. That doesn't count as entering the base. She didn't do anything while she was in the base. You're actually going to see here, she's still got a few shots of her, uh, of her arrow. Look at that. She's using it to perfection here on the trash buildings. Mm, peak rocket spear gameplay, but it's safe to say these heroes all have ranged equipments now and using them together is broken. So I decided to make the challenge harder. We're coming in on a ring base here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to stop my troops climbing over the walls. Uh, the wall is so close to the edge of the base, so not really possible. But I said to myself, can I take down a ring base without entering the town hall compartment at all? It's not something you've really ever seen done before, but this new hero equipment does open up so many options. Now... For those of you who don't have the Fireball upgraded, you're going to have an interesting decision this month. Do you upgrade the Fireball or the Rocket Spear? And I'll put it this way. The Rocket Spear you'll be able to use in far more attack strategies than the Fireball, but the Fireball is stronger. When you use it, it's insane. Look at that Fireball value. Quite ridiculous. But if you're not going to use it, if you don't like those sort of attack strategies, then the... Uh, the, this Rocket Spear will be well and truly good enough for you. So we use that. Now, admittedly, we are taking down a lot of the core with the Zap Quake, but I wouldn't have been able to get rid of the Poison Towers CC or the Scatter without the hero equipment, and that is ultimately what this video is about. Got the King on the bottom side. I want him to go in and get rid of the Monolith with the Spiky Ball. We've got the Warden on the left and the Queen on the top. Now, keep in mind with this attack strategy... I've got no Rages. We're just bringing Lightning and Quake to finish off buildings from our hero equipment, which makes Warden Charging quite difficult. We've got activated now the Rocket Spear on the top side. I use a Quake there to help finish a lot of that off. The Queen is about to go down. RC is putting in huge work. Look at the amount of damage the RC does here. Whew, nearly half the health of the Queen there. Now, my Queen does go down. A little bit unfortunate. I probably could have run the Phoenix on the Queen, honestly, instead of the King. But look at this. The King... 
The, the spiky ball completely avoided the monolith, which did make me laugh. I used my last quakes there to finish the monolith off. Now, it's all about the town hall. I cannot enter the town hall compartment with any of my troops. So at this point, I was just hoping that my flame flinger would get the town hall down. Now, I do have four super minions on the flame flinger just to make sure we're not entering the base any more than we have to. The flame flinger does finally get the town hall down just in time. And I was watching these super minions here. So they are just over the wall. You can see where the shadow is at this point. Now, technically they enter the town hall compartment right now, but they do zero damage and die immediately. So I'm going to allow that. If you don't allow it, fair enough. I respect that. But I'm going to allow it. My troops did no damage inside the down or compartment in this attack. Look at all the swag troops we've got. I refuse to use the super minions, even though I'm going to time fail here. I refuse to use them because this video, it's about the hero equipment, not spamming 14 super minions, which, you know, is about, what, 170 troop space at the end of the battle. What better way to finish the video than with a live attack? Can I prove to you all that I can do this live? Or in three minutes time, will I be crying? Now, I'm going to admit something. I had to change the army. You see the rage spell in my troop bar there. Uh, it's too hard to warden walk on most bases or warden charge without a rage spell. Even though you have all the zap quakes in the world, you do need that rage spell. So I'm coming in from the bottom here. Now, I do want my warden to target the ricochet cannon. Um, I admittedly, I have done this uh, a couple of times now, this Warden Charge, just just testing it. And uh, he hasn't parked like this before, so go Warden. Go Warden. Just doing something completely different in the live attack. Insane value. Quite literally insane value. Can't, can't complain about that whatsoever. So we got the Warden going to the left here. Hopefully he can deal with all of that damage. So we got, we got to help him out now, and the best way to do that is with a queen ability. One, two, three. And would you look at that? The base is looking much easier to take down now. Now I'm going to use my king over here. Because the king's going to do some tanking for us. The flame flinger will obviously open. Warden's kind of chilling at the moment. I still do have one quake left. Uh, that was meant to be used with the uh, the king. But the king's not really getting much value. Uh, admittedly. That, wa that one's on me though. Come on Spike. Come on queen live. Come on queen live. And then we're going to use the RC and look, we'll pop the spear and watch this. So obviously the uh, the Seeking Shield gets rid of the first layer defenses, but have a look. The, the spear is so good, it's going to help get rid of the Town Hall. The Queen's just alive and would you look at that. No way. I did not expect that. So the Warden did go a different way. Normally the Warden after the Fireball goes this way. But because he changed up at the start... Definitely went a whole lot better. Yeah, my king and queen have entered the base, so I guess I failed in that regard. But the fact that I'm tripling these bases with just essentially four bits of hero equipment is quite ridiculous. Let me know, did this excite you today? Obviously, it's only using max equipment, so it's not really repeatable for most of you. But I reckon, given I'm swagging like 170 troop space... This could still be achievable with low level equipment. So if you'd like to see a video with a low level equipment where I don't try and swag as much troop space, but I still try and use this equipment combination, do let us know down below and we'll get around to doing it. But either way, hopefully today sold you on not only the rocket spear, but also all the other hero equipment you see today. I know not a lot of people love the fireball and the spiky ball, but there's no doubt it they are strong if it used correctly. Uh, but yeah, that's it from us today. Can't wait to show you more Rocket Spear content on the channel throughout the week.